Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do the code by weekly challenge, third question. And in this question, we are going to do the smallest sub array with maximum bitwise dot, not dot or. So here we are given a zero index array of length n, consisting of non-negative integers for each index i from zero to n minus one. You must determine the size of the minimum size non-empty subarray of num starting i inclusive that has the maximum possible bitwise or. So as the question says, it is clearly mentioned that we need to do bitwise or for those questions, and then after that, in other words, let b i j be the bitwise or of the subarray numbers of i j. You need to find Smaller subarray starting at i such that the bitwise or of the subarray is equal to maximum of b of i k, where k simply refers to that between the i and n minus one. That k should lie. That's the thing. So and the bitwise or of n array is basically bitwise or of all the numbers in it. So return an integer array answer of n where answer of i is the is the length of the minimum size subarray starting at i with maximum bitwise or. So now the thing is that what we uh, required to return is that this answer which is there basically at every index this is the length of the subarray and this subarray is that subarray where we are able to figure out which maximum or of all elements in that. So that's the thing. This we are required to do in this question. So at each moment we are able to figure out the length of that particular moment and maximum of that is the uh, maximum of bitwise or is being there. So basically in this question, how we can approach this question is like rather than doing or for anything, what we can do is just see when we do or and when we are required to figure out with the maximum or. What we check there, either that particular bit is set or that particular bit is set, uh, not set, right? Uh, what I want to say is, like if we take two numbers, two and three, so if we convert it into the binary, so this is the thing. Now, maximum or of these two numbers, what it would be? Uh, means let me start with the uh, maximum or. Uh, one minute. So basically, in this two, when we do or, what we get as our answer. So zero and one would be one, and one and one would be one, right? So this is the maximum or which we can get for these two numbers. For individual numbers, that would be the number itself, right? So maximum or which we obtain at that moment of time, that would be the number itself. If we uh, go at the three numbers, right? So three is here. We got or out of this is like this. So let us take the other number as four. So four is having the bitwise as like this. Um, so four would be something like this: zero, zero, and this bit would be set, right? So now if we do or, so we will be getting this as our answer, right? So now here we can check that if we are doing or for all these three. So we are able to figure out with the maximum uh, or till now. Means this, if we are given with array something like this, so at this point we are having the length as one, the number itself. And then if we go ahead with or of these two, so let us do or of these two only, zero one 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 zero zero. So here we got something like this, right? So we can have this particular. So here we got the answer as. Right, and here if we go, so here we got the answer as. Uh, so here if we do, uh, till so here it would be one, right? So this is the one. Let me uh, get this. Otherwise, so the minimum length at a particular moment would be the number itself, right? So one would be the minimum. Now when we move ahead, we check that three is here, right? So when we do uh, or of both of these, right? So we get that we are getting the maximum 
out of the three years. So here it becomes two, and here then it becomes three because when we do all for all these three, then again we will be getting some answer in that manner, which is more than the previous one, right? So that's why in that scenario only. The thing is that two things which we need to keep in mind is that at each position, the minimum length which could be there that is one, right? And the maximum length which we can obtain that we are required to take by going from the last moment towards the first for each number, right? But in that also we will be checking for each bit which is being there when a particular bit is set. So we are able to figure out that now we can go ahead with this number and this bit, and this will be contributing towards our maximum joy. And if that bit is not set, then that simply says that now that particular bit can contribute towards the maximum or basically. So that's why we will be ignoring at that moment, and we will be calculating according to whatsoever was stored previously. So that's the thing which we are required to do here. So for more clarity, let me explain you with the example. Then we will move ahead. So here the thing is that if we take this particular example, actually I got all this from the request only. But the thing is that there also there was not much clarity. So I thought that I should take that only and explain the same. So here the thing is. At if we take this and this is the binary representation and we are starting from the last, so we know that the minimum length which we can take is one, right? So now let us start. So last of zero, that is basically at each uh, our last would be storing for the all the bit wise set or unset things at that particular position that would be stored in our last array. Now in that last last of zero, the so last of zero is basically one, right? And last of one is also one. So that's why we will be storing the index. So indices are like this: zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So we will be storing the indices, and then the length would be maximum of the length which was previously stored. That is one, right? And the last of j, which is being there. So for the first, we will be calculating. Then for the next, we will be calculating. So that would be thing. So after calculating one by one for that, we got to know that in both we are getting five only, right? So that's why five minus five. Plus one, that is the maximum length which we can have at this moment of time. So that's why the answer here would be one. Now comes the part for this moment. So here we are now checking for the fourth index. Basically, this is for i equal to five, and this is i equals to four. So for that thing, we are checking. So here we can check that last of zero here, right, and last of one. So last of zero is basically we can check that last of zero here is zero that is unset, right? And the last of one, which is basically R one only, right? So that is it is set. So the thing is that uh, okay, it is other way around because we were going from backward to front, right? So that's why here this is at zero part and this is one part. So last of zero is basically set, right? So this particular portion it is already set. So as it is set, so that's why we will be updating the index. And then so we can check for the last of one. So last of one is basically unset, right? So we won't be updating that index. That will remain as it is. So basically this last is a 30 bit array. Means 30. What uh, is the size of this array? And each moment. Means basically, when we traverse for the next element, then we whatever was stored in that particular, it will get updated. Else, we will be using the previous one. So that's the scenario. So here again, first we will be doing for this. So when we were doing for this, so last of J was basically four minus four plus one, right? But now when we came to this, so now it became five minus four plus one. So which comes out to be two. And we are required with the maximum, right? So that's why the maximum will be two, and here we will be storing our answer as two. So that is the thing which we are doing here. So now, with this much intuition, let us go towards the explanation of this question. So this is again the question uh, which I have taken from the discussion only. 
but as the explanation was required so that's why i'm explaining the whole so here we are taking the 30 bit because we know that it is going to be 10 raised to the 9 you can see this so that's why there would be maximum 30 bit so that's what we are doing and now this result as we told that there could be at max uh, at minimum one length right so that's why we are already initializing it with one now comes the part that we are going from last and why we are going from last that is also explained now comes the part that for j equal to 0 till j equals to 30 basically checking for the all the bits and then here we are checking that if that particular bit is set because this is that portion where we are checking that that bit is set or not if that bit is set then we will update that last of j as it will be in the previous one only which was earlier set and here we will be checking that at that particular moment what should be the answer should it be the one or should it be the updated because of the bits which are being set or not set in that particular moment so this is basically for this element that contribute to the answer that is that index of that element and the current index plus 1 because the uh, we are having the minimum one is the maximum length or uh, minimum length so that's the thing which we are doing here and at the end we will be returning the answer so basically this was all the explanation about this question and as we are doing by bit manipulation so and here you can clearly see that here it is all though n minus 1 right so here it is 30 so basically time complexity becomes n into 30 just because of this only and further the space complexity become because of this result and last last simply contributes to 30 but this result only contributes to the n so that's why the space and time complexity is like this so basically the time complexity in total now becomes order of n the space complexity also becomes order of n so this was all for this particular question hope you like the explanation if you like the explanation please do like and subscribe to my channel and please do share among your friends so this was all for it Thank you.